Well, uh, honestly, I just recently discovered Addicted by Rema just yesterday here after the old O2 Arena show. And honestly, guys, that music, addict, Addicted, is so addictive. Come on. I have not had enough of that song. How come I didn't discover that song for a long time? It was giving me Michael Jackson vibe, the weekend vibe at the same time, and also Travis Scott vibe. Man, I'm becoming a Rema fan, oh. and you know Adam Sling, me, I am not nobody fan, but I'm becoming gradually a Rema fan. Oh boy, that addicted is so, so underrated. Well, of course, we saw the title of this video now. That's not exactly what we want to discuss here. We want to discuss about allegations from fans allegations from fans directly from o2 arena when roma uh, rema performed recently not from fans who are in nigeria uh narrating what happened at o2 arena in uk we are talking about fans who attended rema show at o2 arena and they were there live they saw everything live they took videos and also did their own review they're going to be checking out their testimony, their statement, and why they think the whole Rema show, the beginning of that show, was so, so demonic, occultic, and illuminati form of a uh, way of creating art. Well, you know me, guys. I do not take things for granted. I am, I am not about to lose my soul over an artist, you know, just because that artist is trying to express him or herself true heart well guys come back don't go anywhere stay tuned don't switch off the video yet we're going to be seeing some testimony from our fans who were their life like i've said before let us analyze it let us rethink it is it that we are over hyping the whole stuff or we are overseeing something that we shouldn't be taking as anything serious he's just hard now he's just an artist expressing himself on stage doing his stuff doing what he likes let's hear from this uh, twitter handler rega he said rema Otu arena concert was was full of cult imagery creativity is important but that's not creativity his entrance on a black horse makes it seems like a demon terms cult ritual Black horse is strongly associated mass destruction and depicted in the apocalypse. In some culture, black horse are linked with spiritual transformation, the underworld, passing off an era, or deities like the pagan god Odin. He also rode on a bat. A bat are a symbol of evil in many African cultures because they represent bad omens. Bad are also strongly associated with witchcraft, creatures of the night. Something is wrong. No offense. That is coming from my Daniel Rega. He said something is wrong. No offense to anyone. But let us be completely honest. Something is definitely wrong. There is something, 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 something in, in between, outside, beside, at the back of what these artists are doing. There is some motivational point. Of course, they're going to call, oh, I am blessed by the Holy Spirit. I'm blessed by God. I serve God alone. But deep down in their heart, when they are in the corner, they know exactly who they serve. Even God wrote it in his Bible, in the Quran. That they will worship me in their song. They will cry out and say, "Oh, I believe on one in one God, Jesus. Uh, oh, Jesus, I believe in Jesus Christ. I believe in one God, and there's no any other uh, apart from God." But in their bedroom, secretly, they say something different in their heart. But God said, "He knows everything. He sees everything." So it's very easy for somebody to dispute this thing and tell you, oh no, 
I cover myself with the blood of Jesus. I do not know as a Christian as Rema. He also said that that he doesn't give a damn about Illuminati and all that kind of stuff. But you are portraying a a a a, a different scenario that shows that you are a mass destruction image of the devil planted on heart. Well, I like Rema's song. Let us get that straight. <laughs> Honestly, it's kind of like addictive, that uh, addiction that I just played. But let us forget about that. Let's listen to some testimonies. Testimonies, guys. Check this out from this guy. I'm waking up this morning to our uh, little set being called the demonic, satanic, Illuminati ritual. I'm here. Uh, what? And for proof, this is our stair before we're on stage. We're gas, we're high. It's going to be a good night, crazy. Anyway, so I feel like I need to break some things down because I don't know how this piece of artistry has turned into us going over there and labeling demonic. So let me just start shit off. So that song you lot were hearing, uh, that's Pantera from the Black Panther album. An album that everyone loves. A movie that everyone loves. And I'm surprised no one recognized the song. Everyone just there thinking it's not in some like demonic, satanic shit on the microphone. Bro, you literally just rapping a song from an album that everyone globally loved last year. And our instructions yesterday were to run around and start hyping up the crowd. He's the youngest Afrobeat artist to sell out the O2 ever. It's a huge moment. It's the beginning of the show. Vibes are high. It's like, yo, let's go out there and, and, and it's like, that's a shit up, man. Let's get vibes going. And if you read the lyrics, the lyrics are there for you guys, man. It's not an demonic vibe. Anyway, next point. Moving on to the next point. The bat. The bat is a symbol of where he's from in Nigeria. He's from the new city. Let me give you some context here. This is from Rama's very own Twitter page in 2021. In Benin City, when you look up in the sky in the evening, all you see is bats flying, and that's why it's a signature emoji, a constant reminder of where I'm from. So again, something that reminds him of home. He used to look up in the sky at night and see bats flying around him. Now he's flying on a bat at a venue that he sold out with 20,000 people, and God knows how many millions of people watching worldwide. He turned suffering from home into something triumphant and huge. And it's crazy to me how, like, what should have been a celebration and was a celebration because, bro, we had fun. I know a lot of people that were there that fucking enjoyed themselves, but obviously, a couple of people are going to come online and start leaving in satanic without stepping back and actually thinking, wait, what is this? Not even recognizing the song going to a Rama concert, not even recognizing the song he's performing if it's labeled in a satanic man. That's crazy to me. But, but yeah, man, anyway, to round this off on a positive, yesterday really was a fucking celebration of. Not only Rama, but I'm I'm, I'm, I have no words. Rama's concert. My theory is yeah, all the other shows he was doing where it looks fun and like whatever, it was to lure us into the demonic shit he tried to do today. From the one that went, and I'll show you after some videos, from when he started that chant that he was chanting ever so quickly. No one can tell me that was Yoruba because I would have heard some some sort of something in there to tell me that that was Yoruba because I didn't hear a damn thing he was singing. I'm thinking, hmm, anyone does it all horsey? Well, I thought it was a little horsey. I don't know what that was. Then the song that he was screeching, man, and then the fire, and then, oh, mm -mm. I didn't know what that So even one girl that I was talking to at train station, she was saying the whole time she felt possessed. You see when he's talking about the whole time he felt possessed. Even if early, because in general, like it wasn't the best. I didn't think this was his best concert, but I'm here thinking we're gonna bring it back to it was the yellow. But you're here trying to capture my soul. Do you know who the fuck I am? I'm one of God's favorites, bitch. Oh, no, like, that was actually scary. Like, I'm actually traumatized. I'm so traumatized. Mm, mm, I'm a tie. Who sent me? Who actually sent me? Mm. The other thing is, now I know why we never see the beginning of a Roma concert, up until this one, because it's scary, okay? There was one girl, I saw a video of her, and she was reacting to him speaking, and the people were running around him with the bread or whatever. Well, 
speaking of that chanty that Emma was doing, actually, is from uh, is from uh, a music he did for Black Panther. So I'm going to let me search for it, guys. I'm going to search for it, then play it for you guys. This is it. This is it. So that's it, guys. <laughs> it's nothing like chanting. If you want to listen to the new lyrics, you can go back search for that music and listen to the lyrics it's just about uh, not the apple not the buy not the shell learn to the buy no not the apple not the buy not the shell not the apple you understand what that means now well go and check it out guys and uh, if you are still doubting but for me though i am very very careful i'm very very observing i do not just fall victim okay forget about the lyrics we know what bad but i'm from a do as well from the yeah, I'm, I'm from a do as well uh, I will know exactly what bad signifies. If a Nigerian man today, Nigeria person, see a bat that ran into his or her house, that person will be frightened and want to kill that bat and burn it alive. So that we praise the go, go, thank you very much. You saved me for one devil. Yeah. It signifies that. That the horse again, black also know exactly what it means. If anything black, you know, we have turned it, the white people have turned anything black to be demonic. Or something like that. anything white is angelic, black, demonic. Well, let me know exactly how you feel, guys, and uh, one of these days, bless. Peace.